Welcome back to Starscape Gaming. Today I'm going to be sharing 10 tips to help you start the perfect zoo. I know getting started as a beginner in Planet Zoo can be pretty overwhelming, but I'm here to give you advice as an experienced player that'll help you start off on the right foot. And who knows, maybe veteran players will find some of these tips helpful as well. So without further ado, let's get into 10 tips for starting the perfect zoo. And you'll want to stay to the end because I have a special bonus tip for those of you that stick around. Number one. Play career mode. While you may be eager to jump right into your first custom zoo, absolute beginners should really consider playing the more story driven, tutorial focused mode of the game known as career mode. It starts by teaching you the basic mechanics, but also challenges you in many different scenarios so that by the end, you're ready to take on anything the game has to offer and you can use that knowledge to create an amazing zoo of your own. Also, the zoos you visit in career mode have some gorgeous builds that you'll definitely want to take inspiration from. Or if you'd rather watch someone else play, I'm playing through career mode right now on my channel so you can check that out at the link in the description below. Number two, practice makes perfect. Don't be afraid to try and test out new things in the game's sandbox mode. You won't be able to create elaborate custom habitats and sprawling beautiful zoos that you see in YouTube videos, and that's okay. That speed build that you're likely watching took days to plan, and what you don't see is many times it was tore down and rebuilt. The more you familiarize yourself with the building materials, as well as the overall functions in the game, the more you'll be able to create. So go wild, load up in sandbox mode, and build a zoo so surrounded by a huge moat, or put a bunch of random animals in the same habitat and see who comes out victorious. Number three. Start small. So I'm sure you have an idea of the animals that you want in your zoo, but hold on. Don't go buying those lions and wolves just yet. Watch your animals, especially carnivores like lions, tigers, wolves, and bears. Oh my. Can eat up your starting funds in the beginning? Literally. Not only does it cost more to feed them, they often require bigger habitats and tall, high quality fences to keep them happy and secure. Because of this, it's best to save these crowd pleaser species until you have a steady cash flow from more low maintenance animals. Starting with exhibits rather than habitats is a great option which allows you to use capital that you earn to invest in a wallet friendly species such as the indian peafowl or the common warthog tip number four workshop it not everyone wants to spend hours upon hours perfecting an entirely custom penguin enclosure that perfectly mimics their natural habitat i get it but there are people that do exactly that and more whether you take inspiration for your own creations or build a whole zoo with just items from the workshop there's no wrong way to play seriously there are so many awesome things to find in the steam workshop go give it a look number five use protection make sure to use protection while playing planet zoo no no not like that i mean for your animals if you select the animal in your zoo you can navigate to the top right of the overview panel where you'll find the option to give your animals contraceptives this ensures there won't be any accidental mating and this is very helpful in controlling the population of different species it's also useful because you'll find that certain animals really don't discriminate about who they partner up with even if they're well related number six put them to work work zones are essential to keeping your zoo running like a well-oiled machine the last thing you want is to have your keepers running all the way across the zoo to get food for an animal and then have to go all the way back and give it to them. The keeper won't be able to complete as many tasks before taking a break and your poor animals will suffer because of it. The next thing you know you're being bombarded by notifications of starving or dead or sick animals. Instead you should create dedicated work zones for many different areas of your zoo with easy access to essential buildings. But be mindful of how many habitats you have in a work zone as you don't want to overload one keeper with too many animals. It takes some planning but I promise using work zones makes your staff so much more efficient number seven flash some cash within planet zoo there are two currencies in which you can buy new animals for your zoo cash and conservation credits while you start with a decent amount conservation credits will be much harder to come by in a fresh zoo as the most common methods for obtaining them are selling animals and releasing them to the wild pretty much the opposite of everything that you want to do in the very beginning for this reason, you're going to want to buy your starting animals with cash whenever possible. In a brand new zoo, having the most expensive animal with the best qualities is less important as you should be more concerned with having any animals at all in order to start bringing in revenue. In Planet Zoo, cash is king, at least at first. Number eight, research, research, research. Research in Planet Zoo is the key to unlocking better items in the game. So unless you're playing in sandbox mode, you should be making research a priority. But research can benefit your animals by giving you access to better food or decreased chances of disease spreading in your zoo. Meanwhile, your mechanics can unlock new building items and stronger barriers by researching at the workshop. So don't let your staff slack off. As soon as they complete one research area, have them start on another. That's what they're getting paid for, isn't it? Number nine, anticipate vandalism. You wouldn't expect it, but in Planet Zoo, unruly guests can actually vandalize your education boards and speakers, causing them to break down. If you ever notice your education technology is out of commission more than usual, it may mean it's time to hire more security guards or add some cameras 
cameras. As an added bonus, your zoo will be more equipped to deal with any pickpockets trying to swipe items from other guests. Number 10, guest amenities. Your main focus should be caring for your animals. You're running a zoo after all, but you shouldn't overlook the importance of fulfilling your guest needs either. Happy guests are more willing to fork over money, whether at gift shops or directly in your donation bins. They'll stay longer too, which increases the chances that they'll stop for a burger at Chief Beef, if there's one nearby that is. Because not only is it important to have guest facilities in your zoo, but you should put some thought into where they are as well. As your zoo expands, you'll need to add more facilities for toilets as well as food and drinks. The more convenient it is for them to fulfill their needs, the happier your guests will be, and the more they'll spend. Bonus, auto population control. Some animals, especially exhibit animals, can reproduce very, very quickly. To keep you from having to frequently check your exhibit animals and sell off access, you should be utilizing the game's auto population control feature. You set it up, first click on the exhibit, and then go to management. From here, you'll find a section called population control and select how many males and females you want to keep at one time. Now the game will automatically send new offspring to your trade center, sell them for cash, or release them into the wild, whichever you choose. You can fine tune this process too by selecting removal priority and exemptions. Finally, we are free from the constant overabundance of tiger snails. And that's been my top 10 tips for starting the perfect zoo in Planet Zoo. What's your favorite tip? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more Planet Zoo content. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.